Hello everybody, and uh, this is, uh, I'm back again to talk about my prop cycle, and if you recall from my previous video, I had um, problems with the fan not working in it. Um, it, was, it was running, but it just wasn't making any uh, breeze at all. Well, I took it out and I found that the, uh, what had happened was um, that the part that connects the motor to the squirrel cage on both fans well, had broken. It was a faulty design and originally is that it uses a piece of rubber with a, with a small um, tooth in it to actually make the grip. I guess it's to the reason they use rubber, which breaks really easily, um, was so that if someone ever stuck their finger in here, they wouldn't get their fingers chopped up. Um, but you'd have to go through two levels of screen just to get to this point. I guess it's just for liability purposes. But anyways, um, so here's the, the fan. You've got a two squirrel cages with two motors. Um, I'm just going to show you this one side here. The other one was in better shape. This is the bad one. Um, what you see here is here's the actual part that the here the actual squirrel cage and you see that big old notch that's out there and you see where it's all been worn. Um, that's where the rubber piece actually popped off and the ax center axle which is metal wore right through a wore a hole right through the squirrel cage there. Um, I tried to to replace it um, to uh, repair it myself. I actually uh, drilled those two holes you see on opposite sides, and put a washer with a two, with a notch cut in it, and uh, it worked. The only problem was that the rubber piece itself would still pop out, um, you know, randomly almost, um, just because of the, because of the design. Um, so I took I took the uh, this whole thing over to my father, and he's got a. Uh, CNC machine, and he uh, machined me replacement parts for the rubber pieces, which are um, much sturdier, which you'll see here. It's uh, made out of aluminum, and it's got a notch in it right there. Um, this holds it really well. Um, I think that if this doesn't... I've already tried it out. It works before I put it in the machine. I just hooked it up to power. It um, seems to work really well. If it wears out over time, I have another idea for for actually making it a little bit even stronger. Um, but I think that this will work pretty well. Um, I'm just going to put this back together again. Now, you'll see that it spins quite well. Um, here's the lower fan with the same replacement part my father made for it. Uh, it always helps to have someone with a CNC machine. So there, there we go. Okay, everybody. Uh, now I've got the fan back in. Uh, with the replaced um, part that connects the squirrel cage to the motor. It's a new one. Um, I'm going to now turn the motor on. See now that there's plenty of wind coming out of this. So, there we go. We got that fixed. Um, only thing left for me to do on this is to wire up the lights and clean it up a little bit more. Um, I'd like to just get the, the deck here a little bit cleaner got a few things left to go. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, check back later. And uh, thanks, everybody.